Hello, Carlton here. Just wanted to make some sort of dev diary because it felt like I owe you guys like a long explanation of what's been happening and what we've been doing all this time since after the launch of Cell Surgeon. And so, yeah, I thought it's a long story, so why not make a video? Plus, you know, it's cooler to have a video anyway. But yeah, now we've sort of moved on past Cell Surgeon and working on new projects, or actually, new projects and old projects, right? And so during our development time of Cell Surgeon, we were actually semi working on another game as well. So we always try to have 1.5 games in the making. So while Cell Surgeon was our primary game, we also have half a game in dev, which is Hungry Pets, what you see here. And so now we're going to fully work on Hungry Pets, now that Cell Surgeon's finished. But, of course, at the same time, 1.5 game, we also have another half a game that we also work on the side as well, which is Matchy Matchy. So, this video would focus more on Hungry Pets, and then in another video, we'll talk more about Matchy Matchy. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys where we're at so far. So, Matchy Hungry Pets is pretty much about 85% complete already. Right? And so now it's just sort of finish off the last 15%. And you know what they say, the last 15, 10% is like the longest. It's like the last nine, the last 10% is like the final 90% of the game. So the last stages is the longest process. So, oh, by the way, for those who are curious, we do use a game engine called Unity. So this is Unity, and this is where the game's sort of built off. So yeah, let me take you through what's been happening. So yeah, so this is Hungry Pets. So this is our sort of main menu. So some very nice animated menu done by our artist Omar. Right? So Omar has done a lot of really cool graphic work on the game, which you'll see really soon. And the game starts off with a really nice menu that's nicely animated. We've posted screenshots of these recently, but yeah, now you can see it all in action. They're all animated, they're all fluffy, and hopefully they're pretty cool. Uh, we had our developer Earl worked on this and made this all happen, so he did a really nice job making this all look very slick. And then a lot of misconceptions think that you know it's usually just me the solo developer in, in Joy Labs but actually you know we do have several people working on the projects because game development is a team spot, sport and you know it's really hard if it's just one person working on it so there are several people working on the projects and of course we also have our composer Pierre who's doing some composing some really cool tracks for this game as well. So yeah, otherwise take you through. The game's about 85% done. So it's a, we've got about 60 levels done so far. So if we skip through, we've got 60 levels. And right now we're working on finishing the final 12 levels to have 72 levels total for the release of the game. So just final 12 more levels to go. Right. But yeah, let me show you what the game is like. So Cell Surgeon is a physics puzzle game. And the aim of the game is we drop food and it falls down with physics gravity. And the aim is to guide the food to the pet by drawing lines. Right? So this is going to be a mobile game. So you'll be using your touch to draw lines. And yeah draw some lines to... Ah, I already messed up already. But that's okay. I can totally redirect the food here. Alright. So yeah, so... Can't blame physics, because physics is physics. So that's the beauty of physics game. It's like, it's all accurate. All right? And of course, there's a lot of other mechanics in the game that you'll get introduced as you play deeper. So here we've got an example of the portal. And the portal, basically, everyone knows what it is. It just teleports the food into another section, which helps a lot. So yeah, like a smaller casual game that's hopefully fun and short 
rounds and as you beat levels you move on to different worlds and different worlds have different things to do. So in this example we introduce other pets in the game. So this is a bird right and the aim is to feed the bird well first of all you gotta feed multiple pets. But in order to feed the bird you have to funnel it into this converter. And this will convert it into bird seeds and the bird will only eat bird seeds. Later on you also get introduced to cats, right? And so of course cats eat fish. So you have to convert the food to fish in order for the cat to eat it. But you also have to feed the bird as well. And you also have to feed the dog as well. So yeah, it does get a bit more complex. And it is a puzzle game. So for all you technical, logical minded people, that's for you. And even for creative people as well. You know, they find it actually quite fun playing this game. And it gets really complex, like I don't even know what I'm doing now, but let me just try to do these ones. If it falls down, it also comes back from the roof. Rah, and it just gets all over the place, which is awesome. Alright, and then let me try to feed this cat a bit more. And now I redirect. Hope you're following this, because it's all over the place. I'm trying to get the seed to the bird. Yeah. And then I'll try to redirect some of this to the dog here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I can refunnel this. Oh, come on, refunnel back into the fish. So now they become fish. And I'll delete this line. All right, so there are some tools that can help you out. And get there. Uh, I totally messed this up, but here we go. Let's get some fish. And. He's gonna get fed. Woohoo! Yeah, and because I've used up too much food, I only get one star. So yeah, so that's like a quick intro to the game. And of course that was like level 30. And then as you get to level 40, for example, they introduce a new mechanic to the game. Right? And so for Sky Rose, right, we introduce the cannon. And the cannon, you know, shoots things in certain directions which either helps you or really challenges you into certain puzzles. And then eventually it just gets really messed up. Right? So this is one of the levels in Winter Way, which is the snow level. And there's wind all over. And just to, <laughs> to show you the chaos that's happening, there's wind all over the place. And this is slightly more crazy, but it is possible. And the aim is to try to get the food somewhere and get it in control, right? And of course, the more you play through, you know, the learning curve, the more you learn how to manage these situations. But yeah, it does get a bit crazy. And then you have yet to see Dream Tower yet because that's the last world and that's the one we're working on right now. And it's looking pretty intense. So, so yeah, so that's like a quick overview of um, Hungry Pets, right? And so the remaining task is to basically finish up the last world and it is going to be a free game, so yeah, because it's a mobile game, so it will be free for you and there's no in-app purchases, it's just going to be some conveniently not too annoying placed ads here and there, and, but hopefully it would be a game that everyone enjoys and that is Hungry Pets. Alright, so that's it for now and look forward to the next video where we give you an introduction on Matchy Matchy and how that game works. So yeah, thanks for watching.